Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hey everyone, it's me, Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. And as the title states, I'm gonna be teaching you guys on how to patch Trails in the Sky, the third evolution, into English. With that being out the way as well, I'm gonna be just stating the prerequisites as I do in all my videos, and plus on some you know common things I think you should know for this process. So getting started with um the patch itself, we're gonna be just talking what is included with this patch, and everything I state will be in the download description down below. So first things first, this patch will include fully voiced lines with over 20,000 voice um basically lines that are created with this patch um there is redone artwork with more character portraits and invent images along with this patch there is also an arranged soundtrack and with this option as well you could go back and toggle back and forth with the original soundtrack which from trails in the sky um as well there is a text backlog by pressing down on the d-pad so if you want to go ahead and read back text from the characters itself if you need to you know want to do that that for whatever reason you can there's also some ui improvements with this patch plus by holding x you can also speed up battle animations and also cutscenes so if you're trying to speed run through the game or you just don't want to you know see some filler content within this patch you could go ahead and just skip it but with that being out the way for the things that this patch will include we're going to go ahead and get started for the prerequisites for the playstation vita and everything that i do state will as i stated before will be in the link in the description down below so first things first you need a modded playstation Vita that is already hacked. So whether if you're using a Trinity, Hankaku, H on Core, H on Core 2, as long as your Vita can be exploited in some shape or form and you already have it modded, then you're good for this um tutorial. As well as your if your system is on 3.60 to 3.73 firmware, you could still fully do this process. I'm going to be using my um 3.60 um Hankaku Enzo Vita. As well, you need the latest build of Vita Shell. You also need a Japanese copy of Soro, uh, excuse me, Sora no Kisenki the third evolution it doesn't matter if it's the actual physical copy or the digital copy or even a no npdrm dump i'm just going to be using a no npdrm dump for this tutorial as well make sure you're um updated for this patch as well so i'll show you guys on how to do that a little bit more later in the video on how to basically you know update to the latest patch which is 1.01 for this process but with that um being out the way for those prerequisites just the other prerequisites we need for today's guide you also need a japanese update patch plus the english repatch folder i will have that in the link in the description down below and as well you need auto plugin vpk to install these three plugins which is no npdrm if you're using that no npdrm version of the game stump as well you need repatch and refood with that being all out the way for the prerequisites i just want to go ahead and give a special thanks to the team who did this um patching job and basically doing the translation for this game so shouts out to you guys but don't forget if you need any help um for this process or just have any general questions on how to do this don't forget to you know leave a comment down below or you could just join my discord and i have that right on the screen but with all that getting out the way let's go ahead and get started on the pc side of things Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we're going to go ahead and get started on the PlayStation Vita side of things first. So as showcased here, what we need to do now is just go ahead and scroll down to Vita Shell. If you don't already have Vita Shell already installed on your device, I will have that in the link in the description down below on how to download it basically for the um, VPK. And I'm already assuming for this process, your device is already modded. So with that being said out the way, let's go ahead and open up Vita Shell for this process. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and get ready to go ahead and transfer some files over to our Vita. So whether if you have a USB cable, go ahead and plug that into your PC. Or if you're going to go ahead and use the FTP connection method, go ahead and into start go into scroll down to where it's a select button depending on how you want to basically transfer your files go ahead and select the one of your choice but for today i'm going to be using the usb method since it's way much faster on how to um transfer files and i don't want to deal with um you know ftp connection errors so what i'm going to do now is just select over to usb and i'll meet you guys back onto the pc Alrighty, so assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites on the PlayStation Vita via within Vita Shell, and you already see your um, content on your PlayStation Vita, and you see all of your um, folders within UX0, once you plug in your uh, cable from your PC to the Vita, what we're going to do is go ahead and get started on transferring files. So the first file we have here, 
which is PSC SG00490. This is the actual game itself that is not patched. So this is the Japanese version. So what we're gonna do now is go and transfer this over via within our app folder right here. So just take PSC SG00490, put it into the app folder right here. What we need to do next is take this auto plugin.vpk, drag it onto the root of this as well. And then we have the actual patch files that we need to be messing with soon. So what we're going to do is right click on our um, PC, something with like rewar. We're going to extract our files. I'm already assuming that you already have one on your PC. So just go ahead and hit OK. Well, in this folder as well, since I um, made basically half of the stuff just to make it easier for your guys, you're going to see two folders, which is going to have the repatch data. And this is going to include all of the basically English translation, plus the actual patch itself, which is just the update for the game. So what we're going to do now is just wait for all of our content to be transferred over. So it's going to take nine minutes for basically um, that stuff to transfer over. And it's probably going to take some time for our patch to extract out to our desktop so once our patch is fully onto our desktop i'll show you guys on where to basically um transfer this folder over to in ux0 and then what we're going to do is once it's all done transfer back to the playstation vita and then run auto plugin Alrighty, so basically the Trails in the Sky patch right here has extracted successfully on my PC. So what we need to do now, since the main game is still transferring over via within the app folder, we need to go ahead into Trails in the Sky, the actual patch. On our, your PlayStation Vita, just go ahead and drag over the patch via right here. So that's what it's doing right here. So if I go into the patch folder itself, you can see that the basically the update for trails in the sky is transferring over now same thing what we need to do to uh, repatch you're just going to go here drag it over to via the usb drive or aka my playstation vita and now if i go into my repatch folder as well what we're going to do is you're going to basically see the game data within the um, actual playstation uh vita archives are going to load so that's what i'm waiting for it to do right here so yeah if you see in the repatch folder right now basically all of my uh game data is going to be transferred over and this is going to be the actual english patch so what i'm going to do now is just wait for everything to transfer over it may take maybe like 10 minutes or six or seven minutes once it's fully done i'll showcase all my files are transferred over and then we're going to go to the playstation vita and then get everything set up with an auto plugin Alrighty, so after some time has passed, as showcased here, if I go into my app folder, you can see that I have the PC SG00490 game, aka Trails in the Sky. So let me just showcase it here. Here's the game in the app folder. Scroll down, you can see that auto plugin.vpk is here. If I go into my patch folder right here, you can see that has transferred over successfully as well. And last but not least, the repatch folder also has the Trails in the Sky English patch within it. So once we have all of this stuff done, what we can do is just go ahead and minimize this out, go back into the PlayStation Vita, and let's get auto plugin installed. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, once you're in the Vita show as I am right now, what we need to do is scroll all the way down to UX0, go into auto plugin.vpk, just go ahead and install the package because what we need to verify before we even get started on transferring our game or basically putting our game into the live area, we basically need the three plugins that I was talking earlier in the intro, which was no NPDRM, refood, and also as repatch. So that's why we're using auto plugin .vbk, since it's just very simple on how to um you know transfer our plugins in so just waiting for it to do its thing and then once um auto plugin is fully installed i'll show you on how to you know get this plugin set up so waiting for it to do its thing all right so now it's fully done i'm going to go ahead and hit back on the home button on my system hold down circle so we can close out that program I'm going to go ahead right now, find my homebrew or try to find auto plugin. Let me see where I put it at on my system. So here is auto plugin right now. What we're going to do is just go ahead and launch it just like any normal program. So there I go right here. Now what we're going to do is go into plugins for Vita, install plugins right now, scroll all the way down where it says refood. We're going to go ahead and install that version. So. Go ahead and install refood right now 
also going to install the latest version of Repatch, which is, I am assuming, version 3.0. So let's go ahead and install Repatch as well. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and scroll down or scroll all the way up where it says no NPDRM. We're going to install version 1.2 go ahead and hit X once you have all those plugins installed go ahead and hit start on your PS Vita and then hit X and now your system will restart so once my Vita is fully restarted back on screen what we're going to do is go in Vita shell and load up our game of choice so let's go ahead and get that processed alrighty guys so as showcased here my PlayStation Vita has successfully restarted so I'm just opening it up just like any normal time what we need to do now is just go ahead and open up Vita shell on your device so that's what I'm doing here. Once Vita Shell has successfully opened, I'm gonna go ahead and back out of circle. Make sure you're on this menu right here. Go ahead and hit triangle on your, um, your device. Right now, what we need to do is refresh live area. Go ahead and hit X. And it may take a little while for basically it to find the game. So hopefully I'll find our game of choice. Plus it will already be updated. So we won't even have to, um, you know, install it so as showcased here it says refresh to one item go ahead and hit x i'm going to go ahead and back out feeder shell and voila as you saw in here you can see that my game is already updated i don't have that official update on the screen and now what we're going to do is just go ahead and start the game i'm not going to play any um music via for this only due to the fact of you know copyright issues but as showcased here um the game is now loading You'll see right in the right hand corner that the English translation patch is on version 1.0. So you could already know from starting this that the game is fully in English now. I'm just gonna go ahead and showcase on the screen that the game is now running, you know, in full speed. So yeah, here is the game, you know, patched, of course, since the logo is in English. You can already tell from the menu that everything has been translated. So what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and create a new game and i'll play it just for like 10 seconds just to show that you know the game is running in full speed so yep this is essentially how to run trails in the sky on your playstation vita via with a translated patch so you can see some text on the screen it's now already in english if you were on of course the japanese version it'll be in japanese but yeah if you guys did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like please be sure to comment and subscribe if you have any troubles on setting up this patch please let me know in the comment section down below or just hit me up in my discord but with that being said i'll see you guys next time peace Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in the mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace